We move now to River State, where Governor Yesum Wike has dared the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Iocha Ayu, to stop any candidate of the party from contesting in the 2023 election. It is the latest twist in the PDP crisis over pressure from the state governor and some of his supporters on Iocha Ayu to step down from his position. Senior reporter Uche Okoro has more. In spite of efforts by different stakeholders of the People's Democratic Party to settle their differences, the war of words between the two camps rages on. The national chairman, Iyocha Ayu, while addressing some of his kinsmen, said he had no intentions to resign. Instead, he claimed that he was in a position to stop the senatorial ambition of the governor of Benway State, Samuel Autumn, and others who were opposed to him, but chose not to do so in the interest of the PDP. On Iyocha Ayu's power or capacity to decide the fate of PDP candidates, Governor Nelson Wike dared him. He has now come into office. He has seen money. He has seen power. Now he can open his mouth to say if he wanted to stop or Tom, he would have. But we dare him. And he said he can also stop any contest and look at Maybe he's, he's hollow. He doesn't know anything. I dare him. If he's national chairman, to let I dare him to stop any contestant, if he has what it takes. Governor Wike accused the embattled PDP national chairman of betraying those who were instrumental to securing him the position of PDP national chairman. Without being greedy, the claim made by the governor that no national chairman should come from where a governor comes from. We agreed on that. But Otom came. And as a man with respect, he said, listen, I want to promote my people. Let them be at the national politics. And we said, okay, they are honor, we'll agree. This is a man who never campaigned anywhere. This is a man who never bought from me, never bought a poster. Even though the money they gave him to, to print poster, he never printed any poster. Now I can even tell you if you wanted to stop the man. Who brought him? Who granted for him? Who became his granddaughter? He can say, he now says, if I wanted to stop him. That's the corruption we are talking about. The word sacking. The governor also cleared the air once again that the demand is not for Iyocha Ayu to be sacked, but rather it was for him to voluntarily resign in compliance with the PDP constitution on zoning of political and elective offices. Yes, Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.